Welcome everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have another mystery bag Monday for you. So we unfortunately though only have um one bag. Yeah. One bag is all we found this week, unfortunately. Um try as we might to discover rag bags and find them where we normally find them. Everyone was stingy this week. So in order to fill up a little bit of time so that people can get in to watch the one bag that hopefully will money down, may be hard to do. Uh, I need to figure out a few things to do in the meantime. So I got to thinking what in the world could I actually do uh, to give you guys a little bit of entertainment, uh, you know, not be super disappointed with one single bag. Uh, and so I thought I was like, well, you know, I am a musician, so um, I got my and I am going to play a song, play one song. Um, you guys can tell me if this is like super terrible idea or you enjoyed it or whatever, but figure we'd add a little bit of spice to what we normally do here. Um, I will take questions if you have them. Uh, obviously one bag's not going to take us a whole lot of time. So if there are people in the stream and in the chat that have questions about vintage clothing uh, or just about really anything that has to do with vintage eBay and thrifting, uh, just drop those messages in the chat and we will get to them. So, uh, yeah, if, if you got questions, leave them in the chat. We'll get to them um, either as we open up the bag or I'll hang out a little bit afterwards uh, after we open the bag and answer questions if you have them. We don't normally have like, a ton of people watch live, so uh, it's not a problem that there's not any. But I'm going to go ahead and play. Um, I'm going to play a song. It's a cover song. I do have lots of original music. I've been a musician for quite a while in bands and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I'm going to play a song by some friends of mine ca called The Thistle and the Cedar. Uh, the link is in the description below. Check them out. They're good friends of mine. I helped them uh, work on the, uh, produce this record or at least help them record this record uh, many years ago. Um, they have a song on it that I just absolutely adore um, that I think is an incredible song. So I'm going to play this song for you guys just to get us warmed up, just to um, just to warm us up here. If it sounds terrible, I'm sorry. There's not a whole lot of ways I can really sound check this. But um, I'm going to do my best. If it sounds good, it sounds good. If it doesn't, doesn't. So here we go. This song is called Everything is Changing by the Thistle and the Cedar. Link in the description. like everything is changing Nothing has been left unshaken And every place I put my feet Is coming up from underneath Makes me go I'm a ship out on the ocean Battered by the waves of fear Drifting I can find my place And I can't go on like this Make me go I need you back. I 
makes my soul finds rest in your shadow once my heart feels the warmth of your gaze when i come down Expect that from your Monday night mystery bag with vintage thrifting guy, uh, loot fan. Uh, but again, that song was Everything is Changing by uh, the Thistle and the Cedar. Link in the description, check them out. Um, I don't that you used to be able to buy like a physical CD from them, I don't think that they do that anymore. Just buy a digital copy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get in bag bag. And we'll see if this one little rag bag will suffice for today. Oh, it's going to throw so many people off that I play music. They're going to be like, what the heck is going on? Am I on the right channel? Looks like we have lots of kids' clothes here. Lots of little kids' clothes, which, you know, my wife might appreciate. But it doesn't really help us. Whoa, we have some jeans here. They actually have some jeans, but they're just like some regular old Arizona cheap jeans from modern day Arizona jean company. Uh, we have a lot of like uh, bibs and baby stuff. I mean, this stuff is like, I don't know why did they just like clear out their baby section. Cause this stuff is like good baby stuff. I don't know. I mean, baby stuff is like constantly in demand. So I don't know why they would put it in here unless it was like absolutely ruined. Here's some actual like more adult oriented clothing. All right, let's see. Oh, it's an old Isley tee. Does anyone remember Isley? Um, I think, I think all the half the girls in Isley married half the guys in Newfound Glory. I think that's who. I think that's the way it worked out. <clears throat> Got some Halloween T-shirts. Uh, I guess that's a little bit appropriate since we're coming up on Halloween. Oh, that's cool. Live long and prosper. This one is from 2008. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is like a yeah, it's like 2008 era. I mean, it's small, but it's cool. Small but cool. Yeah, it's like 2008, something like that. Um, my wife I fit that better than I also. I don't know if I can actually get her to wear anything Star Trek related, but you never know. You don't know. Uh, we got your apostle. What do we got? Take a take a hike. Mammoth Springs, something or other. How are you guys doing today? We got some vintage. Actually, we got a vintage uh, uh, Tommy Hilfiger polo. Not terribly old, but older. Probably like early 2000s. Um, yeah, probably early 2000s. Uh, we got some more polos. Hope you guys are doing good. If you're out there in the thrifts this week, hopefully. I pray that you find some dope fire. We had a good week last week and the weeks prior to, to or the days prior to uh, last week. Uh, basically, weekend to weekend was great. Uh, a lot of good stuff that we found. Um, you guys, if you you've pro if you haven't, go check out the um, go check out the. Top five video, uh, top five finds of the week video. There's some really cool stuff in there. Uh, some really cool, interesting stuff that we found. So, um, probably one of my favorite top five ever, um, so far. We got a single, this is technically a vintage shirt. This is a single stitch 
uh, camouflage shirt. I don't necessarily know that they have, <clears throat> excuse me, any value, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's vintage. Vintage is vintage. So it's cool to find that. Maybe that's indicative of something else we could find down here. Uh, let's see. Nope. 2005. I guess 2005 will be vintage in the future. I mean, everything will be vintage in the future. The question is, will they be interesting? Will people want them? Will people be interested? Will they be popular? Stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> There's plenty of things that are old that aren't necessarily interesting to people. So, um, nothing there. Guys, I do not know that we have a whole lot of hope in this bag. Uh, unfortunately, I'd really love to see, love to, like, have you guys see when it when it like happens live when we find a banger, but the truth oh we got a Teen Titans is that what this is Teen Titans or something like that I don't know how old this shirt is but some of the older some of that like Cartoon Network stuff uh, can do pretty well. I'm really just looking to find a T-shirt that will pay for the bag, so something I can sell for ten dollars or more or six dollars really. Um, so we got a Nike. Uh, Arizona. I mean, I guess I mean, they could probably try to sell that, but I don't know. Oh, so close. We are cl close to the bottom here, guys. Does not looking terribly good. We got some unicorn baby blankets and stuff. Um, those we'll definitely have to make sure they get regunning. Okay, why well, not? We got an Eagle USA. This is a sorority or or a fraternity shirt, but it is vintage, I think. It's like a V-neck or something. Not V-neck. Eagle USA, made in USA. <clears throat> probably vintage, but probably not worth anything because it's too specific. Like too specific um, of an item to be of any value. All right, so let's see. Nothing. What's this? Come on. Help me out. Nothing. Oh. All right, down to the last few garments here. If we don't get anything, we don't get anything. It's just the way it goes sometimes. Or in the in our case, recently, most times. But that's all right. I mean, we just keep buying them. They do typically work out well enough for us to keep going. So, uh, so. This is probably, it's on a red bar, red bar anvil. This might be older, but not quite old enough for it to be a hair salon for men and women. That's cool. All right. Uh, last last garment here, and I think it's over. I think this is all we have right here. This is all we have, and it's nothing. So, unfortunately, I didn't really find anything of value in that bag. Um, and, unfortunately, we only found one bag this week. So, that's a bummer, but, you know. You can't help exactly what you find all the time. So whenever they have bags, they have bags. When they don't have bags, they don't have bags. There's a while. I mean, it was probably it was a while where we weren't getting hardly any bags. I mean, they were they were not putting up bags at all. So there are seasons now. The seasons that typically have bags are are the fall and uh, winter seasons because they're not selling as many t-shirts, so they bag them up and sell them that way. So. Here's to hoping that the next few weeks have tons and tons of rag bags, and then these can actually be like really long. Because I was saving, I saved that bag since last Tuesday or last month, but no, last Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah, for, since Tuesday or Wednesday of last week, hoping to get more bags to make this more enjoyable for you. Hope the last, the few minutes that we did, hope you enjoyed the song. Uh, if you're watching this on playback, hopefully you enjoyed the song. Links in the description if you want to check out the band. Their name is Thistle in the Cedar. Uh, they don't know that I'm promoing this. They haven't really performed or done anything in a long time, I don't think. Uh, but uh, they are friends uh, of our family. And so hopefully they will uh, appreciate it. They get a couple extra bucks because you guys went and streamed stuff or or bought their CD or something like that. So uh, if there's no questions, which I don't think there are, it doesn't seem like there's anyone uh, asking any questions. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and sign off. So really appreciate you guys watching this. If you're live, appreciate you watching this on playback. And we'll see you guys 
on the next one where hopefully we'll have more rag bags to share with you guys. Peace.